Hello everybody, my name is Parak, and in today's video we're going to be using a Samord Charge Blade against the level 300 Pyrachna Kadaki. And here is the quest. As per usual, here is my build. It's a pretty simple element set. We've been using it quite a bit. I think the only thing that's missing at this point is a bit of guard up. I w would want at least one level, ideally, and a mediocre talisman. And then we've got the decorations here. All the green numbers are from decorations if you want to copy it yourself. Alrighty, probably wondering why we're doing a Pyrachna. Obviously it's 300, so this will unlock the Special Investigation version. For those that don't know how to unlock them, you basically have to go solo a level 300. Or be the one to post it at least, is generally how it works. Let's kind of this. It's also my requested monster, so it made it easy to choose a monster to go solo today. Because, uh, kind of getting sick of SOS's where I can't learn anything. Like, get better at using the weapon just because nothing ever happens really. You kind of just beat the monster until it dies. Like land as many sades as possible and then that's the hunt. So this will let me uh, practice a little bit more. Get that counter. I do want to act... Oh right, I've already got sword active. I was going to say I want that up as much as possible. It's just a tiny bit of extra damage on the firing pins because I do plenty of uh, melee hits to like go in between the time of not being able to discharge and whatnot. Ooh. Counter this just to be safe because I don't know the timing on that too well and I think it might have multiple hits. That's gonna hurt. Ooh, we got lucky. Do a quick combo because butt slam. Wait to guard. Guard point that. Easy stuff. We can convert as well. I think we get hit there. That's fine. Just take the damage. We got the conversion which is fine. Ah, if only I had the wire bug in time, that would have been great. Let's do some basic combos to build up that uh, healing. Just a little bit faster. She missed, I was guarding to make sure. Okay. Come towards me. I don't know why I did that one over the other counter, but that's okay. At least we got the damage, thanks to Intrepid. We want to go through the claws if we can, because it's our best element hit zone with a uh, like element build. I think I almost missed them, to be honest. Yeah, I missed them. Unfortunate. Counter this to get our stuff back. Dodge that. Smack her again to get our vials ready for the next slot. And send it. Very nice. We will take that any day. Let's do that and morph over here. Hopefully land the vials before she gets up. Would be nice. Oh, that's some better numbers. 882, not bad. Go to the butt end. But don't hug it because you'll get webbed. Just to be uh, a little bit safe. Obviously these monsters do quite a bit of damage. Guard point that. Ah, oh, she missed. That's okay. Can guard point this instead. Easy stuff. No, she moved! At least we got some damage out of it. 1100, not the worst. I think this only hits once. It does, okay. Was playing a bit of a gamba there, but I was pretty sure it only hit once. Okay, get those firing pins built up. Ah, dang it! Morph over here. Should be safe. Because she's not uh, enraged at the moment. Nice damage. Get our vires back again. I don't think I have time, so I'm just going to send it immediately. Because she might get up. Yep, she did. Okay, I'm glad I sent it. Again, webbing. We want to not be directly on her butt. Okay. No. Slam. She'll do the second one. No, she won't. Okay. I should have just counted it then, or guard pointed for extra damage. Butt stuff. Okay, I shouldn't say that on camera. <laughs> oh no, it's going to be taken out of context. Okay, go through the front, get the face if we can. Nice, we'll take that. Let's morph over here, get another one. Somewhat safer back here than we are in front of her. It's the idea at least. Counter that, she should be tired so we can safely charge our sword and maybe get a discharge off as well. Yeah, we're fine. We've got Intrepid even if she does the follow up. Okay, she missed. I will take that. Send another one, because she's still tired. And we've got Intrepid. Ter terrible positioning on my end, but it's fine. Couple smacks into the charge. Okay, what are we doing? She's tired. Mess her up. Try and aim for those front claws, because they take the most damage. I wanted to counter that, but I didn't have time. Unfortunate. We can counter that, though, which is great. Send it. 
I think she hits us here. No, cool. If we line ourselves up with only getting hit by one string, we should be able to counter. Like that. Clean. If you go straight under her, I think most of them hit you and it just interrupts it. Charge our sword. She should act. She did. Unfortunate. I tried to roll, but it didn't act in time. Oh, okay. We got out of the web in time. That could have been really bad, actually. We could discharge off this, though. She's open for quite a while here. Not the greatest hit zones, but at least we hit her. She's slamming on Utsushi. Oh, okay. I was waiting for the second one just in case. Discharge through the front again. Big damage. Oh, love it. Again, non-conversion, non-bloodlust. Such juicy damage, considering. Send another one. Very good. Ready to counter. Oh. Wow, yeah, she was one hit away. That's unfortunate for her. Send one through the front again. We got three vials in there. At least that's worth it. Our sword is about to not be charged anymore, so we'll counter this. She missed. That's fine. We can charge it manually if we have to. Do some basic combos, because she will probably act immediately. But we can just charge the sword under her then. I'll take that. Wow, really? That hit me anyway. Let's go back over here for better positioning. Maybe go through the face even. Nope, but that'll work. We got the claws. We've got our uh, sword charged up so we don't bounce. Which is fantastic. We are getting low on charge actually. So maybe I uh, do a cheeky swap scroll. I don't know if that's more efficient or not. Because I have uh, dragon conversion. But we lose it if I swap here. Oh, we staggered her. Nice. She'll act though because she still started the raw. Only hits once. Just charge our sword. Okay. Because we definitely don't want to lose the charge now. She missed the guard point. She missed it again. Oh no. Inting on purpose. No second one. Okay. I'm glad I'm not going for them because the amount of times I've gone for that and gotten hit has been uh, quite numerous. Get our vials back again. We may very well have to sharpen soon, but for now we can send this Sayed, because she will web wrap like that. I could have countered that, but I don't think it would have been worth. Second one? No. Okay. That's fine. We'll get our vials. That doesn't hit us at all. Build up some firing pins. Second one? There it is. Guard point that. Big damage. We got the counter morph. Boom! Very nice. Uh oh, counter. We got so lucky that only one of them hit us. I will take that any day. Nice. I figured she was close because she's been blue for a while and we've landed a couple discharges. Just on the brink of orange. Not bad. And that's a 7 minute hunt for a level 300. I will definitely take that. It was quite a bit more enjoyable than uh, not being able to actually play around what the monster's doing. Well everybody, that was some solo charge plate action. That was actually really fun. I feel like Pyrachna is definitely one of the more enjoyable matchups with a counter-based weapon. It was very, very fun and I'm glad I got the special investigation unlocked by doing the level 300. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you on the next one.